Hello everyone, this is Dr. Rahman from District Endocrine and today we are going to talk about Hashimoto thyroid disease. Now first let's talk about the thyroid gland. So this is a small butterfly like looking gland present below our Adam's apple and it coordinates a lot of metabolic function across our body. The first thing is what is Hashimoto thyroiditis? This is also called chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis. This is a common disease in which the body's immune system attacks the thyroid gland leading to an, yeah, leading to an underactive thyroid disease and that is called hypothyroidism. What causes Hashimoto's? Um, this is unclear that what exactly is the cause of this autoimmune uh, attack. However, many scientists believe that many bacteria or viruses may be responsible to trigger this particular autoimmune response. We do know that there are several risk factors which uh, increase one's risk for developing Hashimoto's disease. Now, gender, women with higher prevalence of, women have higher prevalence of Hashimoto's disease. Um, usually middle age, 20 to 40s, that's a higher risk for Hashimoto's disease as well. Uh, we do see some genetic makeup that is reflected by family history. Um, so if somebody has somebody uh, like their parents or siblings with Hashimoto's, their risk of having Hashimoto's is also increased. Uh, if someone is exposed to radiations, uh, environmental radiations may also um, be a risk factor for this particular disease. Uh, if someone has other autoimmune diseases such as diabetes type 1, rheumatoid arthritis, uh, lupus, Addison's disease, they also have a higher risk of developing Hashimoto disease. The next thing to talk about is how patients would uh, present with Hashimoto's. So Hashimoto disease is a slow progressive disease that may present without symptoms, uh, that means just with abnormal labs or with different symptoms which we're going to talk about or enlarged thyroid glands such as uh, which is known as goiter. Some of the common symptoms that are associated with Hashimoto's disease include fatigue, uh, increased cold sensitivity, uh, having a pale and a dry skin, uh, puffy face, constipation, hair loss, um, sleep disturbances, mood changes, feeling depressed, enlargement of the tongue, uh, having brittle nair, there could be uh, abnormal menstrual periods, uh, sometimes there is joint pain and uh, stiffness, um, unexplained weight gain up to like 10 pounds, um, there could be muscle aches, tenderness and stiffness. So there are several complications that can uh, happen from untreated hypothyroidism. Uh, for example, um, goiter, which is an enlarged thyroid gland, and this can be due to the constant the thyroid stimulation to produce more thyroid hormone, and that stimulation is coming from the pituitary gland, which is a master switch in the form of TSH called thyroid stimulating hormone. However, enlarged gland may not be painful, how it can cause cosmetic issues or sometimes it can affect difficulty, uh, it can cause difficulty swallowing or difficulty breathing if it is too much enlarged. Uh, some patients can also have heart problems such as heart failure, slow heart rate and they can also have higher level of LDL or the bad cholesterol. Uh, patients can also have a negative impact on their sexual life, their sexual desires such as libido can be low in both in men and women. Uh, it can also lead to menstrual irregularities in premenopausal females. Uh, patients can also have mental health issues, depression and mood problems are widespread among untreated Hashimoto hypothyroid patients. Um, some patients may also have sleep disturbances as well. In pregnant females, they can have birth defect in their uh, 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 in the newborn babies. Um, there is increased risk of miscarriages in our complications of the pregnancies uh, and that has been my research topic as well in the past. Uh, myxedema coma is a very rare but extreme uh, medical emergency that can present with drowsiness, lethargy, unconsciousness and it can even lead to death if not treated uh, uh, immediately. So the question is when do we see a doctor? Well if you have Hashimoto's disease and symptoms as we just talked about you should discuss with your doctor to check thyroid labs. If you have high cholesterol such as hyperlipidemia, autoimmune disease such as diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, Addison's disease or if you're pregnant uh, with symptoms you should get screened for the thyroid levels. Once you are on thyroid uh, replacement medications and if the symptoms don't resolve in the next three to six 
uh, months, it would be a good idea to, to get help from an endocrinologist who are your thyroid doctors. Diagnosis of Hashimoto's disease, it is based on the lab uh, uh, blood tests. Now, a hormone test such as TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone that is produced in the pituitary gland, as I said, small p side gland present below the brain. This is a master switch and it controls thyroid gland. Now, it usually uh, is high if the thyroid levels are low in your blood. So this is a reciprocal relationship. Free T4 is an active form of the thyroid hormone. It is usually low or at the lower end of the normal range. T3 is usually not recommended in patients who have hypothyroid disease or Hashimoto's disease because it does not reflect the actual thyroid levels. It's a short-lived hormone and it may not be very accurate in most of the times. An antibody test uh, in Hashimoto's, since it's a Hashimoto's, it's an autoimmune disorder, so your TPO antibodies can be high. It has to be taken with a, with a grain of salt because in some patients you may not see that, that particular antibody to be high, and it can be high in patients who don't have the active disease. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Dr. Rahman signing off. Um, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Uh, and uh, we look forward to seeing you for our next video. Thank you very much.